Jihanga Khan, thank you for coming to WPC TV. You are the head of the United Nations Counterterrorism Unit. Center. The center. Now, it seems to me that um, the war against drugs is the kind of war that can never be won and hasn't been won. Isn't the same also true of the war against terrorism? Well, that, that's a very fair question, and that's a million-dollar question. The short answer to that is that the struggle against terrorism has been time immemorial. Terrorism has existed as long as humanity has existed. However, the nature of ter terrorism today is of a different quality, because what we see today is that terrorist movements are morphing. Uh, if you and I had been meeting five years ago, uh, we would have been talking about Al-Qaeda. Today, we're talking about ISIS. Um, yeah, Al-Qaeda was more of a hit-and-run operation. Uh, today you have ISIS, which is claiming to control a state or develop a state, uh, and even had aspirations to take over Syria and Iraq. Uh, they have broken down borders, they control territory, they control oil fields, they control resources, they control population, they control, they attempted, uh, today the two battles are taking place in the two largest cities, uh, second largest cities of Syria and Iraq. So the, short, the answer to your question is that this is part of the perennial struggle of humanity. But the time has come because I do believe that the international community has it, if they wish, uh, to mobilize the political will um, to address the very fundamentals, the drivers of violent extremism that are fueling terrorism. We may not completely defeat terrorism, but we should really aim to put it back in its bottle uh, in the sense that it should be uh, contained, uh, and one that doesn't become a disease that turns chronic uh, and, you know, it becomes cancerous and eventually kills the patient. Uh, so that's really the challenge. And the drivers are what? Because there must well, be several. The drivers are what we call the push and pull factors. If you see today that the primary uh, demographic that terrorist groups are aiming at are the 16 to 24 year 1.8 billion youth of the world. It's the largest youth population in the history of mankind. Uh, and young people everywhere aspire for change. Uh, every young man or woman, you and I even, when we were young, aspired, had a dream, and that dream was to change the world. Uh, you have terrorist groups today that are offering an alternative. Uh, and we must look at uh, the primary driver, which is youth. What can the international community, uh, and governments, uh, and local communities do to better respond to the challenge of youth. And what I mean by the challenge of youth is today, this is the primary tool of education. It's not yeah. the home and it's not the school. Kids everywhere, including my own son, learn on this. Yeah. They learn about good things and bad things. This is the new Molotov cocktail and therefore we must look at youth as a positive asset not as a problem to be solved, but in terms of actually harnessing this incredible energy in them, which can be used for good or bad. And clearly ISIS is onto something in terms of tapping that energy that exists in all youth throughout all time memorial. That's a very good way of putting it. Jahangir Khan, thank you very much indeed. Thank My you. pleasure, thank you.